what's up guys uh, hey I hope everybody's having a good good Saturday um, I am um, today's topic is gonna be loyal and that means you gotta be loyal to yourself and you gotta be loyal to everybody else it's like I was talking to God when I was praying and everything and I was telling him you know right now a lot of companies out there they're not being loyal the owners of the company are not being loyal to the employees and that's not good you know because you have to be loyal you have to be loyal first to yourself because when you started your own company when you started that business you were loyal to yourself you were trying to get out there hustle and do what you got to do to to make your company grow you know but then when the company started getting good profits and everything then you hire employees then you got then you got bigger then you got you know a building or whatever you know but then you lost it right there I know you saw a lot of profit. I know you're getting a lot of money out there, but you lost it. You weren't loyal to your employees. And that's everywhere right now. You know why? Because if you're loyal to your employees, they're going to stay there. They want to stay with you. They want to grow more with you. They're going to be happy. They probably even come out earlier, leave late. But you have to be loyal to them. And, being, and me saying being loyal, you have to go out there and talk to your employees and let, and let them know that where they at, they are fine. You know, let them know, hey, man, who want? Who in here wants to grow with the company? Who in here wants to, you know, a lot of things like that, you know, because a lot of them are going to feel, they're going to feel so good when you tell them that. You're like, man, our owner, I mean, he's here talking to us and he, he wants to know who wants to grow with the company. I want to grow with the company. And then you start asking them questions. And then you being an owner, you got to give them bonuses, man. If, if, even if it's not every three or six months, at the end of the year, give them bonuses. It don't, it don't matter if it's 100, 200, 300, 500. But you got to keep them loyal. You got to keep them, motivate them and train them. As well as you train yourself, you got to train them. Because the more they train, the more they evolve, the more they start thinking. They're like, man, our, our boss, I mean, not the boss, but, you know, the owner coming here and telling us this and that. And um, he said that next week he's going to take us out to eat on Thursday. And then next week on Friday he's going to take us out to the movies. And and you and, and then um, you, you're putting out their stuff to them. And on Monday and Wednesday... We're going to have somebody to come here or even himself and, and train us or motivate us for, uh, for for the company, you know, do not give up and telling us things about the company, how we can make it grow, the se the sales, um, how are the sales going, how can we make it better, um, anything, anything that goes with the company, everything. You know how much your employees will love you for that? They'll love you. Like I said, some of them will even come earlier. Some of them will keep even leaving late. And they're gonna be amazed for you to tell them that they're gonna even thank you be like thank you um i'm growing more with the company i love that you do this you know um i feel like home you know i feel like home because i'm working with somebody that really cares not like they're doing right now like i see in another company so i see it when you go out and buy mcdonald's or burger king or maybe starbucks but I'm not judging. You never know. They probably do their trains. I don't know. But I mean, you can see sometimes when some people, they're just there working and they're just, they're just there for working. You know, they don't, they only think about being there as an employer. And, and as an employer, I just work there. That's it. You know, I come from eight to five and I go home and I don't have nobody. They, yeah, they might train them, but they don't have somebody to tell them, hey, you know, they want to grow with the company or not. But that's sometimes you got to do that up yourself. You want to, hey, man, I don't want to be here just as an employee. I want to move up, you know, so you got to find the leader, the business right there, the store manager and go tell them, hey, you know what? I just don't want to be here as an employee. I want to grow here with the company. You see me. I work hard every day. I come early. I, sometimes I leave late and the other way around. And, and whenever you tell me to do this, do that, I do it. But so I want to tell you right now, sir or ma'am, that I want to grow with the company. I want to invest in the company. I want to be something here at the company. I just want you to see that. I want you to see me as something that I I, I don't I don't want you to you to see me as just as an employee. I want to grow with the company. Bam, man! Just like that, you just use your mouth and tell somebody like that. Now they're gonna look at you differently. They're gonna be like, "All right, we thought he was just here just to work and go home, and that's it," because they never say anything. Nobody says anything. But that works what ways? As being a leader, as a manager. But the owner has to be there. As being the owner, being loyal, be like, man, my managers are doing, I got to go train my managers, my assistant managers, you know, more ahead. And, and let them know what they got to tell the our employees, you know, motivate them. Um, let them know that there's going to be something going on this week and next week, a couple of months. 
we're gonna take them there here there uh the pay vacation you know and stuff i mean there's more incentives every three months you gotta work harder you know but that's an every month or an everyday thing that whenever you start working that's how it is as well as the owner is training himself you're training their their below like i said the managers the system managers whatever and then they got to do that then they gotta train them the employees and let them know what it is but as you being the owner no matter what you're the owner i know you're busy and everything you at least have to go some of the stores and go talk to them oh man they're gonna see you they're gonna meet some of them are gonna be like, oh why is the owner here something's going on wrong you know um are they gonna close the store or what happened somebody did something you know but being you there and trying to have that meeting and tell them you know and go out there and telling them what's gonna happen and telling them hey my managers my assistant manager we're gonna have somebody here either it's the manager or i'm gonna have a motivate a guy that's gonna come and motivate you guys and, and try to be so you could be positive every day and and i want you to feel like home i don't want you to be just here like you just here for work because i mean they are making your money they are the employees are making your money for your company if you don't treat them like loyalty if you don't treat them like family they're gonna leave you they're gonna go find somewhere else and work and that on the other place is gonna be the same thing if they're not loyal to them the same thing and that happens in the whole world man i guess maybe in the beginning when the business started maybe people were actually loyal and they're still i know there's still some companies that they're loyal to their employees i've seen it i saw last time on the news that somebody took the um, it was a big company and they took the whole company and they went to a big field trip i don't know another country i think or well, he took him on a big vacation and he took everybody that's loyal right there for you taking your whole company on a vacation and paying everybody off that's loyal that means that they your employees are gonna love you like i said they're not gonna leave you and as well as some of your employees you know that they want to go ahead they want to they have their own dreams they want to be they maybe they want to have their own business uh, and join another business you know whatever they want to do you still gotta be out there and helping them out hey i know and telling them, I know that maybe you're, you're, you're just here to work, but I, I want to make sure that you want to grow with the company and you'll be here like home and be treated like family. I know that maybe you do want to start your own business, and that's fine. I'm not going to be mad that you leave us, but as you are here with us right now, you're still going to be like family, and, and we're going to treat you just fine, and, and, and everything's going to be good, you know. And any questions or anything, let my managers, assistant managers, I'm going to talk to them. We're gonna have a meet, I'm going to have a meeting with all of them. And so everybody's at the same position. So everybody's loyal to everybody. Nobody is getting mad at anybody because we are going to work together as a team. It's easily like that, man. And we need to do that. All the companies need to do that. Like I said, I do not know. I Probably a lot of companies out there still are loyal. But I know it's not a big percentage that are. It's a small percentage that they do it. And all of the other ones... No matter what, they're small or big or big corporations, they don't do that. And they need to do that and keep on training them. As much as you train your people and as much as you're being loyal to them, and, and, and you're going to be like your managers or whoever out there, the owners you're checking out your, your graph for the month of uh, February and March, you're like, wow, man, the profit from here, it went up. And you know why? Because you kept on training yourself, you kept on training your managers, you kept on training your employees, and you keep on um, making them... Um, feeling more like family and they love you and they're coming out early they're coming out late they're asking more questions they want to grow with the company some of them don't but they still like where they are because they're winning, they're getting good money and as well when they ask you if somebody's working hard in your company and you know they've been working hard and you see that and they're asking hey man i've been pushing myself hard enough and everything is there going to be a raise for me man you got to go out there and talk to them you know what yeah i've seen you work you know what if i, I i'm not even going to give you a raise you know what i'm going to give you a better position I've seen that you are an employee. I want to try to give you an assistant as an assistant manager. What do you think? Now you're going to be have more stuff. It's got, the pay is better and stuff. But if you don't really want to move to an assistant, well, I could, we could try to raise you one or two bucks. Or however you see they're working hard, you know. If you were winning 10 bucks, you know what? I'm going to pay you 12 50 now. Not a lot of people are going to do Because you're winning 10, they're going to be, I only want to raise you 50 cents. No. You see they're making the money they're making the circle go all around on your company if without without them your company will be zero nothing so we all have to think about that so i'm just letting you know everybody out there when you see this video the topic is loyalty you have to be loyalty to yourself loyal to your company loyal to your employees and loyal to everybody you got to be loyal to everybody 
whoever you meet, your friends, you gotta be loyal, we gotta be nice. I know sometimes it's it's hard because you get a fight or something about, uh, you don't like uh, the way they act, but you still gotta be loyal. No matter what, you gotta be loyal. We have to be loyal to each other and be nice and humble and great because God sees that. When everybody we do that, God sees that. And he opens new doors for you. He opens other doors for you. The more you give, give and help, help, it's gonna to return to you, Bob, a lot, man, I'm telling you. No matter how much money you don't have or you have a little bit, but you still help out and give the tiny little thing that comes from your heart, man, as being loyalty like that, man, God knows that, and he's gonna be like, I like that. That guy's great, that guy is humble. He might not have a lot of money, but he saw something, a problem, and he tried to make a solution for it, and he helped somebody. It might not be with money, but with the words or helping out from your heart, and you made somebody else uh, day better, man, and you gonna feel good. You gonna feel like, man, I'm my day is now better because I help about five people a day. Some of them, maybe I did help with some money. Some of them with just giving them um, some quote of the day or quote that you made or anything, you know, like to make them feel good or a video that you made like me the videos that i'm making you know they saw a video of mine and there it was it was the strength and energy video and they're like man some of the things that he said he's right you know and some people may say like oh man i don't think so i don't think what he's saying is right i mean maybe some of it you know but it's all fine i'm making the videos because not everybody is is gonna like them not everybody's gonna be like oh man jesus i don't like the video but that's fine you could comment on my video comment whenever the video is done and i'm done making the video comment any questions ask me that's why i'm making the videos to help somebody out there um somebody out there may like this video that he uh, it's an on, an owner a boss already out there they have the small company or they have a bigger company they'd be like man he's right man i'm not even treating my my employees right i'm making so much money my mind is like oh it's good oh and i'm spending it and going out there and going to florida and europe and my employees are working so hard, but I'm not even being there and telling them how much I appreciate their hard work because the company is growing more and more. And you just out there, I mean, you're still investing on the company, making money. It's not going to go low, but you're not being loyal to them. You're not being loyal to the, the, the employees that are making you money. And that's not good because either sooner or later, they are going to leave or, or you're going to leave. The best ones are going to leave. You're going to have to hire somebody else. You have to have to train them, and I, and now some days now people don't even train. Some of the companies they get you in, and you go out there and work. They might train you, but a little bit, not enough. Like okay, then you figure it out yourself. But no, you have to train, train, and train, and and no matter how it is, either two weeks and then you have a training day with a couple of people. Sorry, with a couple of of, of your employees and train them, and then another week you get the other half and train them and train them, and that's gonna be. I don't know, however you see it, every two weeks, every month, however you see it, but you always have to train, and not only them, but you, and be loyal, and be humble and great, and know that they're there for a reason, man, they're there to making your company grow, you made the company, and thank God that you hustle, and you had the patience, you had the faith, you made your company grow, now you have people working for you, but now you gotta see it the other way, now they're working for you, now you gotta be loyal to them, and to yourself, always. Don't let that happen. Don't let that go out of your head. So, guys, whoo, like it, man. This topic of loyalty can go on and on and on and on. But I just want you to know, any questions you have, any comments, yeah, put them in here on my YouTube channel. Um, it's amazing how even myself that, as I was telling you, I was praying and telling about God about being loyal and being loyal to him and being loyal to yourself. It, it's tough and struggling out there that people just lose it. They don't want to be loyal. Either, either, either way, if you're an owner, you're not an owner of a company. You just lose that loyalty to others, man. And it's not it's not really good at it because the more loyal you are to people, the more loyal you are to your employees, like I said, they're going to like you. They're going to love you. They're going to work harder for you. The company is going to grow more. Like I said, they're going to want to invest in your company. Boom. And you got to treat them like family. Always, man. Remember that. Treat them like family. And don't. I mean, I not seen it. A lot of companies, I mean, were, that they're making good money and everything, but they're thinking about. I know you don't have to have a budget, you know, but sometimes you gotta be thinking about. I know I gotta waste money on this, but if you have to waste money on making your your company grow more, that's on your employees. No matter what, and people in the companies are like, why would I? I wanna um, train them or uh, spend money on their investment when they're gonna leave my company. Well, that's why you do it. 
you train them and and tell them what it's gonna be and like i said there's gonna be a trip here a trip there i'm gonna take you out here there's gonna be uh every three six months uh, a bonus and the christmas and new year's you can see things like that so they won't leave and you're gonna train them and gonna be training every two weeks every month and and we're gonna have a meeting and stuff so y'all can be motivated and y'all could be uh, and anybody that wants to grow with the company let us know let the manager know let me know if i'm here and blah 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 man and that's how it goes and we lose it and a lot of people lose that a lot of people and a lot of owners so i just want to let you know guys just comment me comment on the down down below on my youtube on this video um loyalty guys just ask yourself what are you lo what is loyalty for you are you loyal to yourself as an owner yourself ask yourself are you loyal to your employees are you loyal to your friends are you loyal just ask that question are you loyal or what is loyalty for you and comment comment me if you want if you don't want that's fine i just making these videos like i said i'm in the process of being a speaker so i'm i'm excited that's my passion that's my gift because i found it on me so that's what i'm gonna move on and do what i gotta do to to be out there in the stage but it takes a process and a process of me and focusing and and having mentors and looking at them and studying out who is already doing that and i'm focused so much on that that it, it's gonna happen i mean i'm telling you there's gonna be something about um a talk and they're looking for speakers for singles and i'm a single father like i said if you don't know my story i my videos on youtube on my youtube channel i i set my story i told my story i may not told the whole thing but i told some of my story and it's on my videos in there and my youtube channel so go and check it out i don't want to go all into it because i've already been into the videos we'll go check it out and there's gonna be and i asked i want to be speaking on there i know that they they're not gonna pay me but right now i'm not trying to think about that i'm trying to get out there and speak to the people and let them know my story my message so i could help somebody out there that they, they might need the help of my message not everybody's gonna get help on it but someone will and not me, not me being out on my heart, not charging anything, but out of that, people are going to know me. I'm going to have clients. Somebody out there is going to know, hey, man, he's a good speaker, and he's just beginning. I want to use him for my group, and blah, blah, blah. And right there, man, you start making friends. You start making uh, the business people. You start making everybody, and from there, yeah, you already know. You got to start making your business, uh, cars, your business, and everything that has to go on. And keep on pushing it keep on pushing it because that's my passion that's my dream and that's and i'm being loyal to it because i gotta be loyal to it all right so any questions you got for me man comment me and i hope you have a great great saturday guys and remember man i know if you believe in god or not man just pray for him or anything and and i was he's always there for you man he's always gonna be there for you always have faith strength and energy and do what you gotta do every day man every day and always be positive and always be happy always be happy i mean i always say happy not positive because i know even myself sometimes you always positive but sometimes it's just a little spark and you have a little bit of negative but it goes away but always be happy no matter what thank you guys for listening uh watch my video and um enjoy it and watch my other videos on my youtube channel and i will have more videos but today it was about loyal so thank you god have a nice Thank you, God. I mean, thank you, God, for everything. And thank you, God, man. Um, but y'all have a nice Saturday. Enjoy it with your family or whatever you're doing today. Be loyal. All right. Thank you. Peace out.